Welcome everyone! Welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we will be previewing a new and upcoming platformer puzzle game from Delve Interactive called Poncho. Let's play it. Blee. This is a uh, very early development still, as per usual. Good day, minion! You are an extra special lucky person. What you are about to see is just a small piece of what Poncho has to offer. I hope you enjoy your time in post-apocalyptia. Uh-oh, something has gone wrong in the world. With that out of the way, let's get this thing started already. Alright, I'm all f up for that. So here are the controls, very simple. Arrow keys to move, space to jump, and also use the up and down keys to shift into new planes. What the hell, you say? Well, you shift into new planes. That's what it said. Can't you read? Try jumping and pressing up here, it says. So, you can see, the first thing that uh, you probably notice is that the graphics are really quite nice. Old school, pixelated stuff, very nicely uh, drawn, very cool, very colorful. So, anyway, we can jump. We're a little tiny robot thing with other robot things over there. And um, I do like the perspective. You can see the backgrounds are all layered, so it looks like it's sort of semi-3D. It's kind of nice. So anyway, what about the whole um, pressing up to go to a new plane? Well, you press up. You don't have to press up, of course. I can just press down over here. But yes, you can travel along different planes over here. So for example, this key over here. Let's collect those. This key is about here, somewhere. Oh, wait. There we go. So now I'm back there, and I can fall down. <laughs> okay, let's go back. So, what's the uh, idea of this game? Well, it's a puzzle platformer. The idea is to collect these things. Um, I don't know what to call them, red crystals? Oops, I jumped towards the screen. I should be jumping back there. I wonder what caused the calamity. Well, there's apparently something has gone wrong. Uh, I think I have to go here, right. And, uh, yeah, you have to collect these keys and these red gems. I can feel insects in my head. The red gems are used to pay for stuff. Let me just show you that. It's quite amusing. Oop, okay. I can't really do that. We'll get to that in a little bit. So, anyway. Let's open these doors. And then get to this guy. He's a shady-looking fellow. Oh, no. <laughs> And then you get this cool little shop music, or elevator music, if you like. And I assume you can buy your keys here for five red gems. We can buy... Ooh. Ah, I see. So we bought that. And we can buy other things? Huh. Don't quite understand that. Of course, I don't have the gems needed for this. So anyway, let's proceed. Okay, anyway. There's no one to look after me anymore. I can't go through this because I don't have a red key. So, let's go back here. I can't jump to the foreground over here because it's actually two planes away. There's a plane in between. So if I try to jump... And obviously you can't jump two planes in quick succession. So we'll have to go over here and then over here. There we go. So let's go over to this place. Now, these gates over here cause us to not be able to plane jump, which is rather rude. Does anything matter? I like the fact that these guys have those funny little hats on them. So, we can't go through this, but you can see that in the background, there's a plane there. So we can go there, and now we're back here. Unfortunately, at the moment, the uh, foreground is fading out too slowly. So if you want to go quickly, You'll probably bump into something. Whoop, I didn't really want to do that. Let's go back here. There we go. So, the controls... Let's go back there as well. The controls are crisp and very responsive. It's not, that's not a problem. And I really like the graphics. But one of the problems I have with this game at the moment 
is that sometimes it's a bit difficult navigating the world. This is this key that I have no idea how to get. I can't really jump on this guy. And I can't really jump high enough to get it. So, never mind that for now. It's a puzzle of some sort. I can also go... No! I fell down. I should go back there. But yeah, if you're traveling quickly, sometimes it's not quite apparent where, where you have to go. Or how. For example, over here... I don't really know if there's anything back there. So... I can't really proceed. Hmm. And sometimes it's just a little confusing. Let me let me show you over here if I go to the right. Having said that, the game is still uh, very, very cute, obviously. I mean, I like these sort of graphics. They might not appeal to everyone, uh, but I really, really enjoy this stuff. So, so, for example, over here, I just took a you know, leap of faith. I wasn't actually entirely sure what's behind here because the uh, foreground fades too slowly. So anyway, let's go over here. We can't go anywhere here. That's why it says... <laughs> we also can't go to those little red crystals over there or the red key in the back. So we need to shut this off somehow, I guess. What? what? Hello. Oh yeah, I've forgotten. <laughs> I need to jump over here first. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of numbers, mister. Whatever you say. Right. Let's go to this next area over here. Ah, no. Look at this. Uh, this is a little bit confusing. Let's see if I can get to those crystals over there. I can't jump there. Ah, I can jump like that. So I'm in the background, but see, I jumped on that one, and I was... You know, you just you just have to be on your toes all the time with your eyes, even though that doesn't make much sense. So over here, you really have to stop and look at the, um, look at the foreground. So, okay, I see that I'm on the back plane, because there are always three, apparently, at least for now. So I have to jump forwards to get to this one. And then forwards to get to this one, and then back to get to that one. So, whoops, I fell down over here. It is, in a sense, it does make you think, which I guess is what a puzzle platformer should do. But at the same time, it also kind of breaks the flow sometimes. And sometimes it's just a little bit frustrating when you don't know what the hell is in the background and what's in the foreground. So, I'm... As I said, this is still an early development. So I'm sure they will polish this. Ah, this is the place I want to talk about. Okay. I can't really jump there. Okay, so this goes into the foreground and so on. So I have to jump past it when it's not here. So it doesn't push me away. Right. Now I have to jump through this, and this is, uh, this is really quite tricky over here. I can jump on this, but of course it's gonna go away. So I'm gonna jump, uh, I'm gonna wait for that middle one. There you go, I can jump on this one. And then, jump over here. Now, I can walk on these as long as they're on my plane. But as you can see, okay, that is on my plane, and I screwed it up, damn it. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, like that. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work. Damn it. Damn. It's quite tricky, this. I also wish they wouldn't... They wouldn't be, um... Flashing like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, now it's behind me. I actually have to wait for it to come here. Ugh. Damn it. I'm not very good at platformers. How, can you tell? Let's try that again. No, I was hoping that middle one would come over to me so I could step on it, but apparently not. Damn! <laughs> no! Ah, now it is there! No, and it's blocked me off. Damn it. <sighs> Puzzle platformer is kicking my ass. That thing just refuses to cooperate, apparently. Actually... <laughs> I 
Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Sorry, sorry. That was not intended. That was a bug. <laughs> but anyway. Let me try going over here so I don't waste your time completely. At the moment. Right. What do we do here? I have no idea. Ah! Bastard. What's that in the background? Look at that thing. It's... Some sort of a fish with a top hat. <laughs> that is one really big positive thing this uh, game has. Ah, oh, crap. It's got a lot of charm. You know, I mean, we're this little blocky robot that wears a poncho. Damn you! I suck at this. Yeah, I mean, we wear a poncho. <gasps> I thought they were in unison. Damn, but they're not. <gasps> and I can't- can I jump over there, actually? I think I can. Right, I can do that. So, <laughs> this, this is it. It can get mighty confusing, and you have to be really uh, quick on your toes. Oh, I can't go further than that, apparently. Oh, yes, I can. Let's try that again, then. There we go, and I've stepped on it. Yes, I've done something properly and then died almost immediately. Ah, oh, damn. Ah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, there's there's no reason for you to suffer through my suckiness over here. Um, this is just the baseline. It's a very, very cute, very colorful platformer, and I give it huge props for that. I screw that one up. Pardon my language. Um, yeah, it's it's a very cute platformer. Puzzle platformer. But it can get confusing. They'll need to do something about the uh, the whole plane thing. So there we go. I'm standing on that one. No! I was almost there. They'll need to do something about the plane thing. Or perhaps I'm just not perceptive enough for this. But again, I suck at platformers. Ah... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. Anyway, yeah, this is Poncho. Really cute little platformer game. I've said that many times now already, so I'm pretty sure you're sick of me uh, saying that. And uh, yeah, I believe it's gonna be quite a fun little game. As long as they sort out the confusion with the layers, I increase the uh, fade in and fade out of the foregrounds and backgrounds and such. And especially, you know, when you're when you're going past the layers like that, maybe it would be prudent to just have the front layers transparent all the time instead of just when you're jumping past them. So, anyway, this has been Metal Canyon and we've had a really quick look at Poncho, an upcoming platformer puzzle game. And you will find all the relative links down below in the description. And I do apologize about my suckiness yet again. And I will see you in the next preview. Bye-bye.